What's up? How are we doing? Hope you guys are getting ready to have an awesome week. You should be getting this in your Sunday evening email. Uh, I want to share with you a great experience we just had. So me and a buddy of mine just got back from surfing and we're sitting on the boards just chatting it up and uh, we both started talking about the importance and how meditation has changed uh, our lives for such a better way. Uh, my buddy Matt's a really successful baseball agent. He's also an awesome husband. Uh, a guy I look up to and respect a lot, uh, just has a strong work ethic and moral character about him. Um, it's always good to kind of surround yourself with those people. So Matt, if you're watching, your family's watching, appreciate you, brother. But the reason I want to share with you uh, about this session, we talked about meditation, was, you know, Matt goes about it a certain way and how it's helped transform uh, him as a husband, uh, as an agent, made him a better agent to work with his clients. And I go about it my way uh, and wanted to share with you guys kind of my method, but really want to encourage you to take the time to meditate each day it really is a game changer. There's a lot of different methods, uh, but you know, the, I think we all kind of have a similar experience. From Matt and I were talking out on the surfboards. It's, there's almost like you're almost able to remove yourself from uh, almost like an outer body experience in a way that you're connected, but you're also able to kind of look down on yourself. So say, for example... I'm dealing with a client or I'm dealing with uh, whatever's happening in life, you're almost able to remove yourself from the situation and uh, let those emotions, like that non-attachment to the emotions, and make a rational decision. Um, and so, for example, if you're in a struggle with, say, your spouse this week and you're in a heated debate uh, at the office, right? Can you sit there and take a moment, come back to your breath, and choose an appropriate response? And the meditation has really been a game changer for me. If you know during the Team Act 20 workouts, we always have a brief meditation in there. Um, here's a meditation I've been doing over the last year. You'll see me incorporate this in all the future workouts coming out. That's really been a game changer, but let me kind of walk you through that. All right, here we go. So the meditation goes into four different parts. And <clears throat> again, I always like to do the workout first, kind of shock the system. That just is a way for me to help in, uh, to guess go deeper in the meditation. Some people can just wake up and go into it. Um, it'll also help your prayer life as well. I've noticed my prayer life's really improved uh, through the meditation. So here we go. The first part is just a moment of gratitude. It's simply just taking a few moments to connect, right? So, you know, this particular morning, it's just being grateful to have a great friend, hop in the ocean, get to go surfing. I mean, it can be as simple as having a roof over your head, uh, food to eat today, whatever it may be. It can just be the simplest things. just taking a moment of gratitude. You usually spend about a minute or so here. And just really just in that moment of just, again, gratitude, being thankful, just uh, really being accepting of the blessings in your life. I think it's so important just to really acknowledge the blessings. Then I move into lifting up a loved one. And this is more like the prayer aspect, right? For example, you know, today could be my brother, right? My brother's you've heard me talk about, it. it's a police officer. He has two kids and a wife and, you know, he's working the night shift. And so I see him coming home, um, being able to put a big hug and kiss on his two kids his wife, um, and seeing him have an awesome day and just pouring blessings, right? So imagine that loved one with a glowing light kind of hovering over them as they go about their day. It's a really cool experience. And again, I sit here for a minute or two. The third part is then I turn inward. What does success look like for me today, right? So, you know, I may have a couple sessions, right? And so I may be training Sandy, Tom, um, whoever today, right? And so a company, and I, I want to see them having success in that workout, in that session. And then maybe it's, you know, hopping on a call or doing a podcast. It's feeling what success looks like before it happens. And again, I want to really dive into that. I really feel like what a win is for you today. It could be a sales call. It could be watching your kid play t-ball. Just again, try to really feel that, visualize it before it happens. It's a pretty cool thing. Again, I'm here for another minute or two. And the fourth and last part, it's just a moment of presence. It's a great way to kind of wrap up the meditation. Um, you know, sometimes I'm doing the TMAC 20 workouts literally just on the sidewalk because I can hear the birds uh, chirping uh, and the squirrels moving around early in the morning. It's just a rustle kind of waking up of nature uh, that I really like. But again, it could be music in the background, the rise and the fall of the breath. Again, it's just kind of going inward and just being really present. And I'm usually there for another minute or two. And then when you open your eyes and you come to you, you'll notice you have this sense of like lightness about you. Uh, and it just gives you such a great perspective going into the day. So again, so 
you know, you're finding those situations in life where you're having, maybe you're in an argument with a spouse, maybe you're arguing with someone at work, or it, it could just be a good interaction, right? It's learning to be present. And again, remove yourself. You're engaged in the situation, but you're also removing yourself from the emotions that are in there. So you're able to make a good, rational decision uh, and have a better outlook on life and lose these attachments to emotions and these thoughts that are coming in out of your head throughout the day. So I hope this finds you... Uh, this is something you can implement in your day and it helps you and your family. Look forward to doing more videos like this. And again, it's an honor and privilege to get to communicate and work with you. I wish you and your family an amazing week. God bless. Talk to y'all later. And that was kind of a peace, deuces, peace, deuces, something like that. All right, guys, talk to you later.